You are welcome to today's broadcast. Sure Destiny TV, reaching people and touching lives. Merry Christmas everybody out there. Today is Christmas day and I know many of you are all in celebration mood. So wherever you are, I want to wish you a merry merry Christmas. As you celebrate this Christmas, just as I said in my last broadcast, let's also remember to make sure we don't indulge we don't engage in practices that may endanger our lives or the lives of others. Let's share the good will, the good message of Christmas to our friends, to our neighbors. Let's give gifts. I want to celebrate all of you out there, especially those that have been praying for the birth of a new Nigeria. As I've always said in my broadcast, I'm not a politician. Some people are misunderstanding my broadcast and they are thinking, oh, this man has become a politician. I'm not a politician. I'm just a Nigerian that's concerned about the future of our nation. The nation has been mad with so much insecurity. People are hungry. And even during this Christmas, maybe you don't even have food to eat. You're locked in your room or you feel so insecure that you can't go out. A lot of people have lost their lives during this season. Some killed. And some have no home, no place to go to as home. Some are in IDP camps. Whatever may be the case, for those of us that are alive, we must never take our being alive for granted. It's a gift of the Almighty God. So during this time, let's show love and kindness to as many people as we can. And as we look forward to 2023, the year that I believe is going to be the year that will birth a new Nigeria, the Nigeria of our dream. Let's be optimistic. Let's not give up. Let's not become discouraged because of how the previous years have been. I believe for every challenge and everything that people go through, there is an expiry date. A friend of mine usually says, for every problem, there is an expiry date. Why? Because it's got an inception date, a date it started, and anything that has a beginning has an end. So Nigerians, let's be optimistic. Let's remain hopeful. Don't cast away confidence. I am confident that 2023 is going to be a remarkable year for all of us. As you go around, talk to your friends, tell them to get their PVCs and prepare. Let's make this time a time to show love and give gifts to one another. But one way, especially as a Nigerian, that you can extend love to someone is to tell them the choices they need to make the decision they need to make, especially in the coming election. So prepare yourself, get your PVC ready, and ensure during this time you talk to somebody about making the right choice. It's becoming very obvious that a lot of people, former presidents, governors, business people, pastors, imams, and everybody out there, including the youth, the youth that were not involved in politics before suddenly are in the forefront of this current political move. And so let's check with the youth. Where the youth go now, that could be the sign what the future holds. Let's not get hooked with conventional politics as it has always been. Let's not be so concerned or fanatical about holding to our previous parties. 2023 election must not be about your party. In fact, it shouldn't be the way we have voted before, voting on the basis of what religion you belong to, what tribe you belong to, what part of the nation you belong to. This time around, let's lay aside party differences. Let's elect a person of integrity, a person that is upright, a person that is competent, a person that has a past previous record, someone that made his money and we know how they made the money. Somebody that also has a heart for people. Somebody that will unite the whole nation. I've checked among the different presidential candidates and I've come to find out that Peter Obi and Yusuf Deti, they have what it takes to move Nigeria forward. So let's lay aside all those differences and let's give them a chance. Especially when you look at Peter Obi, the region he comes from is the Southeast. And we have had people from the North, people from the South South, people from the Southwest rule and govern this nation. But we've never had from the Southeast. And if we're truly Nigerians, why should we always think that no Igbo person can ever be a president? And moreover, 
the person that has come forward now, Peter Obi, is just one of a kind. He is different. I believe Peter Obi has what it takes to unite Nigeria, to turn Nigeria around and make Nigeria a prosperous nation. As he usually says, moving Nigeria from consumption to production. So I believe they're going to do that. They're a great team. You and I teaming up with them, we can make this happen. So please don't get so concerned about, oh, but should I leave my party? I'm PDP or I'm APC or I'm NNPP. It really doesn't matter. This time around, we are not voting party. We are voting the person that has what it takes to move Nigeria forward. And I've been recommending and I've been calling upon people to vote Peter Obi. As I've said, and let me repeat it again, should some people think that I'm doing this thing because I have been paid by them. Nobody paid me anything. I'm doing this out of conviction. I'm doing this after having studied and seen the situation of our nation and the way forward. I believe Peter Obi has what it takes to make that a reality and a possibility. As we celebrate Christmas, let's also remember that in February is the time for the election. Let's elect Peter Obi and Yusuf Dirty. I'm so sure we will not regret. So I want you to enjoy your season. And as you travel, travel safe. And make sure as you celebrate, celebrate with joy and don't indulge in practices that will mar this season. It should be a time of celebration, not a time of pain and sorrow. So may God bless you. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Once again, this is your brother, Haruna Goro. Enjoy the season.